Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. I'm Drew. And I'm Ken. This is our little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. And today, we're out to get something to eat because we're starving. And it's unseasonably warm, but still like I'm sporting a sweater. And he's sporting the new chapeau. And tonight we're talking about... Good old fashioned sci-fi TV that never could have been. Now, when we talk about sci-fi television, we talked about this a little bit before, yes. where television shows that didn't necessarily gather as big a rating as others, because, you know, in the before time, before there was cable and satellite and YouTube and everything else like that, uh, science fiction television was really relegated to, you had to get really good ratings in order to right. stay on the air. Even because, Star Trek got cancelled, you know? Yes, because it was a yeah. it was a genre that had a specific audience. Now, when you brought this, first brought the subject up, the first show that came to my mind that uh, I'm surprised did not make it mm -hmm. is um, Farscape. Yes, I can't even remember the name. I just remember that the show had a really cool concept because the spaceship was alive. It was a Henson production. Yes. And uh, it was it just, it was smart. My name is John Crichton, an astronaut. A radiation wave hit, and I got shot through a wormhole. I'm lost in some distant part of the universe on a ship, a living ship, full of strange alien life forms. Help. Well, the interesting thing about Farscape is that it actually did continue on. It just continued on the Sci-Fi Channel. Yeah, but that's like death anyways. I, mean, I know. Na back in the 80s, you didn't have that. So you had shows like, for example, a good example of one of those is Auto Man. Yes. Now, Auto Man is unique because it was a show about a computer, uh, a computer programmer who worked for the police department who creates a hologram that helps him fight crime. Mm -hmm. It's not a timeless show by any means. It was strictly meant, you could tell, subject matter for the 80s because it wouldn't work nowadays. No, it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't. That's back in the days when people thought computers couldn't actually do anything. And well, yeah. Nowadays, we realize computers really can't do crap. <laughs> One show I'd like to see them bring back, at least for maybe a TV movie, was um, Manimal. Yes! And now that's a really good example. Predating CGI. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was like, it almost like, like close up on a rubber wrist or something. I don't know. Like, yeah. How the hell he actually did that? That was a show about a guy who basically has the power to actually change into different animals and uses that power to fight bad guys. Did they ever specify how he got that power? I think they did in the show. Yeah, I don't remember that. Was it like um, some kind of, did he go to like a voodoo shop or something and then like get cursed or something? I really don't remember the specifics. Heir to his father's legacy and the world's darkest mystery. My son, you must have faith and learn. This is not the end. This is the beginning. I guess you'd have to you'd have to go. Oh my god, dude, get on a net with that. Now other shows that were a little more um, based in a little more reality, but I thought were really cool shows. Uh, like Misfits of Science. Those misfits, misfits of science, ha ha. Those wild and crazy scientific guys, I love them. Yeah, those misfits. Kidding me? The guy can run super fast? <laughs> yeah, they the shoot lightning fall. bolts. Courtney Cox is in that show. Oh, I know. We'll still for, go forgive her for that. <laughs> now, the other thing, too, is uh, the tall the black... Little, uh, he became little. He yeah. Into Michael Jackson. Yeah, you know, what, you know what he did? <laughs> oh, that's really mean. He became the Predator. That's he right. played the Predator in Predator and in Predator 2. And so he couldn't show his face I, again. He played the Predator. He was actually... Um, it was definitely a 1980s, like, Very music video, time. really. Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh, I mean, you, you look at that, I mean, everything about that... Oh, God. Screams, the only show at, at the time that screamed more 80s than that show was Square Peg. They basically went around town in an ice cream truck. Yeah. It was for... I mean, yeah, okay, it had its flaws, but it was... It was I watched it, I liked it. Yeah, I didn't say much, dude. 
Okay, now another show you probably remember from the 1980s. Not a lot of people really will remember the show, but they'll remember the icon that was from it, is of course, Max Hedrum. Max Hedrum. This is Max Hedrum on Network 23. Oh, I remember the show, dude. Oh. Yeah. You know what the best part of that, that, that show was? The theme, theme, theme song. Yeah, that was very okay. interesting. Now the <laughs> hell, hello. <laughs> the interesting show, thing about that show was it Nothing? was it was it, it, it had Matt Frewer it had Matt Frewer as Edison Carter, a reporter for Network Twenty Three, and on one of his assignments he gets injured, and so in order to find out what, what was going on, they stick his brain 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 into a computer, and it creates Max Hedrum, and so Max Hedrum becomes this big huge. You know, celebrity. you you are one of six people in this country who knows that. Right yeah. Now. I know, I'm a total dork. Yeah, you do. And you're letting it spread. And I don't care. And it was a projection of what television and media would be like in the future. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I get it was it. interesting. All right, you know, I'm going to, like, cool this up a bit here. You make this, you know, sh episode tolerable. Dark Angel. Ooh, James was, Cameron, Dark that Angel. That Ooh, that's a good one. That's, I have no idea why it did not take off. I mean, I, I have to admit, I didn't watch it when it was on, but I did watch it you know, post it on digital formats. Speaking of comic books, The Flash. It's like right after Batman, Tim Burton Batman came mm -hmm. out, and suddenly they were trying to come up with as many of those types of products as they possibly could, and The Flash was kind of like one of those. It was actually really well done. They had Mark Hamill is in that show. I know. It, it, it would have been better as um, probably a miniseries or a movie. Really? Mm, yeah. I mean, it, how many stories can you really possibly do with The Flash? I mean, but there's another TV show that was recently on that I really liked, and I don't know why they canceled it. And it was another superhero action type of show. The Cape. The Cape. Now, I have to bring you there, my friend. That was that was a very smart show. Yeah. But, but the advertising was so stupid. It's like, I mean... It, it, it seemed like they couldn't make up their mind. Were they making a drama or were they making a comic book show? You know, it's like they were trying to placate to both audiences, and they didn't get yeah. to either one. It was kind of misdirected in certain ways. Now, there's another sci-fi TV show that lasted only a season. That, I don't know why it only lasted a season. T95, Space Above and Beyond. That was a cool show. It was kind of like a war drama. And Starship Troopers kind of like together before Starship Troopers came out. Yeah, but Starship Troopers came along and did it better though. They, I know. They really I know. did. Well, the thing about Firefly is that was one of the first examples. It was a it was a good example of like a good show that had a great audience and that was canceled well before its time. And the studio executives were like, "Oh crap, what did we do?" Yeah. And then of course, what happened was Josh Whedon, the guy did the Midas touch. Anything he touches is gold. I know. So after. After, after Firefly was canceled, they made Serenity, the movie. Which, if you watch the series and you watch like Serenity, mm -hmm. Serenity is almost like five seasons of programming kind of crushed into one. Because that's probably ass movie. Another good sci-fi TV show stars your favorite, my favorite, everybody's favorite. Bruce Campbell. I'm of course talking about the Adventures uh, of Briscoe yeah. County yeah. Jr. Mm. That show only lasted for a season, and that show kicked ass. You know, I don't think anybody knew quite what to do with that show. I know it was different. You know, different's cool sometimes. Mm. The um, but unfortunately, you know, that the different doesn't always tell to the mass public. Them renewing these shows because they only last for like you know the premise is so short lived. You know? My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. And I'm Ken. That's a small example of sci-fi that just wasn't meant to be, but should have been. If it had been better. Or gotten a better audience. Good night.